Hey guys, Sean here, and welcome back to another video. And I made this Secret Eaters video the other day, and turns out I checked out the worst friggin' episode there was, which I had no idea. I'd never seen the show before, so don't shoot me. I, d I don't know. But this guy is apparently eating 5,500 calories in one day, and I wish I had a calculator for the amount of calories I was eating before weight loss surgery, because I guarantee I was right around that same mark. But I also think, like, I was drinking a lot more calories. Like, I would put down two two liters in a day like it was nothing. And I never drank water, so only soda. But let's see what's going on in this episode of Secret Eaters. And I hope this one's better for you guys. If it's not, you gotta send me a damn clip. It's in the About section, my email. Send me something. I don't know what to watch. In the UK, a massive 72% of people want to lose weight. And that's certainly the case for these Warrington sweethearts. Bus driver Paul's weight has driven up at an alarming rate, while stay-at-home mum Emma is sure her diet isn't to blame for the bulge. I don't eat masses amounts. Bro, that guy looks skinny to me. I mean, she probably weighs more than him. No offence, but... To be honest, he doesn't look like he's packing on the pounds or anything. If he's eating 5,500 calories in a day, I'm freaking jealous as hell of that guy. Because he is not that big. Both are determined to get to the bottom of why the weight's going on when neither think they overeat. They agreed to round-the-clock surveillance for five days. Do they eat more than they realize? Two biscuits, Albert. Well, there you are. Now, biscuits are cookies, correct? Because for us, the only biscuits I'm talking about is Cheddar Bay biscuits, boy. I'll go to Red Lobster all day just to eat one of those biscuits. And that's about all I can eat now with my stomach cut out would be one, but I would take that one biscuit gladly as a meal. They're so good. Paul and Emma now think their time of being watched is over. As far as they're concerned, they're on their way to meet our dietitian for a chat at this London cafe. All right. This is not strictly the case. I don't think I can live down there. No. No way. It's too busy. Sorry, Paul and Emma, but this innocent-looking eatery is, in fact, a set that's been rigged with cameras. Oh, no. You're about to catch them on candid camera? That's crazy. So that's this is what the show's about, right? They tell them it's done, and then they see what they're doing? Okay, so I was way off when I was just watching the other people eating a little bit too many sunflower seeds. But this is going to be good, because I know this guy's going to pig the hell out. Even the customers are actors who are in on the sting. No. They are still under the impression that theirs is a normal healthy diet and their weight gain a mystery. But that's about to change. Concealed behind a wall in the cafe is our incident room, containing all the evidence of what we saw them eating. They really go get the exact same stuff and just put it to the side? Because I think it's deceptive, because you can eat way more than you think you ate, like in a sitting. Because if you're at like a buffet or something like that, you're just grabbing stuff and grabbing stuff and whatever looks good, you know? But I guarantee it's going to be a hell of a lot of food. What's with you guys and putting beans on everything? Like beans on toast, beans on potatoes. Paul and Emma have no idea that on the other side of this wall, the dish they're about to be served up is a cold plate of reality. So Emma and Paul have arrived safely. Why the hell is she whispering? They're not going to hear you on the other side of that friggin' wall. And if they do, they're not going to know it's you. This is just kind of... A little excessive, in my opinion. I'm having to keep my voice down because they're on the other side of this false wall. No, you muppet! Isn't that what you guys say? You muppet! Right, what does Gordon Ramsay do say? Deal. You donkey! Yeah, I think that's your guys' insult. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello, you two. Oh, oh God. that's amazing. The freaking jump scare. Imagine sitting down. You're getting ready to just pig out. And all of a sudden, the friggin' wall opens. And there's a lady that's been tracking your diet. Oh, my God. I would, I would be so shocked. But you should have let them get the food first. That would have been what was funny. Surprised. Very. 
Shots? Or are they going to show them what okay. they ordered? Emma? <laughs> this is your secret eater's instant room. As oh. you know, we put cameras in your house so that we could monitor what you're oh eating. Oh, God! <laughs> Emma! <laughs> Paul, this is a mere sample oh of what God. you guys have been eating. Look at all those burgers, those fried foods and everything. They are going to town. They put me to shame at 605. I don't think I was eating that damn good. But then again, I also know I had to be eating that good. So a part of me is in denial still to this day about that. So That's not mine. <laughs> it is yours. <laughs> this is our surveillance board. Happy eyes on to you. Debbie's. Debbie's. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I'll kill her. I can't believe you got me at the camera. Oh, yes. We've got it all on camera. Bro, you've got all kinds of snitches in your family and stuff. If they have cameras in Debbie's house or whatever to catch your ass eating some Pop-Tarts. Well, uh, do you guys have Pop-Tarts in the UK? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. I will be showing it to you right now. Come this way. No. Oh, first to face the supersized reality You're of right. This is much is better than the last Stone one. Paul. A few weeks ago, okay. he was at a lot- Okay, 16 stones, quick mass, let's go, what is that? Da-da-da, 28, 56, da-da-da, 84, plus 140. So he's 224 pounds? Also to explain how his calorie intake justified the weight gain. I would say some days I don't have enough food, yeah. Just have a look at one of your worst days oh, no. of eating, Paul. Ready? Oh, God. So wait, before we get here, his start weight is below my goal weight. And he's eating that much food? Like, I'm so pissed off right now. I don't understand how this guy is doing it. Granted, his activity level is going to be way better than mine. But, dude, like, I'm jealous of this man. Well, I'm not jealous of his hairline, but I'm jealous of this guy. It's 11 a.m. <laughs> and Paul and Emma are on the move. Hi, Cameron. He's leaving now. Oh, oh no way. Are you joking? <gasps> Oh, oh this it. show is friggin' fantastic. Why did I watch the worst one? You guys, I had no clue that this show was this good. I love this. Mm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute little on. girl. According to his food diary, Paul usually has a butty or a pasty at this time. But today, he's fueling up on a carvery lunch with friends Debbie and Stuart before he heads to work. Bro, do they have a hidden camera inside, like, the bottle or something? How are they getting all these shots? Imagine if the menu has, like, a friggin' camera built in to catch you slipping. This is astonishing. I'm amazed. I love this. And our PIs are sitting nearby, ready to follow him to the buffet. Shut the hell up! I'm gobsmacked. No way. Doesn't gobsmacked mean you're, like, shocked? I'm gonna start using that. I'm gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. P.I. Duncan serves himself exactly what Paul has taken, <sighs> piling his plate high with turkey, Yorkshire pud, a double helping of cauliflower cheese, carrots. I don't peas, even know what Yorkshire pud is. There doesn't look to be room on that plate for much more. Oh, yes, there is. Oh my, no. How are you one of those people that stacks their plate up to the sky at the buffet? Because I wasn't one of those. I would just go get what I like and then come back and get more. Like, I'm not stacking it and letting it all mix. I can't stand when my food mixes together, unless it's like Thanksgiving food, which all kind of works together. What did you think you did? Oh, no! <laughs> I'd say at least 10. <laughs> oh, my God. But potatoes are freaking good, right? So round Bro, one, 11. 11 potatoes? That's insane. But I do love me some potatoes. Like some loaded potatoes are got to be like the best thing. That and cheesecake. Don't fight me over cheesecake being the best dessert because it definitely is and you're wrong. Hey, it wasn't oh, too bad out there, 11 roast potatoes. That's wrong, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Paul's lunch companion is ready to dish the dirt. You were at the carvery with them. Yes. Um, tell us about that. What did he have? Because, I mean, he had a big plate of food. He's dead. 
Bro, they've got their own 6 9 in the house with them, just ready to snitch on anything they do. This is friggin' wonderful. Where has this show been my whole life? <laughs> it was so dead. It was Paul's normal portion, really. Okay. It was a heaped plate. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't. No, it was big. Wow. It was a proper portion. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then afterwards, he went back for some more rolls. Oh, God. Did you? I think went back for <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he said. <laughs> He got more friggin' potatoes? What the hell? This guy's got a love affair with Mr. Potato Head going on or something, but this is wild. I, I, I would definitely be fooled by this point. This guy's like a competitive friggin' eater. Let's guess. Uh, 18 total. 18? Ah, oh, damn it. 16! <laughs> That's a lot of friggin' I spuds. I, <laughs> <gobsmacked>? Just... <laughs> I love that word. Gobsmacked. I'm friggin' gobsmacked. I'm not trying to make fun of, the, obviously, the accent. I think the accent's super hot when women have it. But, yeah, I love that word. Shovel them in, what another? <laughs> you said it. You yeah. just shovel them in, yeah. don't you? You don't think? No. Later, Paul is still peckish. So he goes <laughs> foraging for supplies to take to work. Is that the same night? Right, but you're, if you're a bus driver, I think that's the problem a lot of people have, that they're so used to, like, sitting at a desk and just eating all day, because what else are you doing? You're sitting there on the phone or working on the computer, like, you're kind of just going to snack throughout the day, and that's, like, deceptive, too, because you could eat healthy stuff and pack on calories that way. Yep. Is that the set? No way, it's a... it is, isn't it? Emma might not have seen that chocolate bar, but Paul can't hide those calories from our surveillance. Bro, I have a whole box of Mr. Beast chocolate because I wanted to be on that, like, competition when he was like, you could win a million dollars. Sign me up for that, even though I don't friggin' like dark chocolate. So if anybody wants a whole box of Mr. Beast bars, hit me up on Instagram or whatever. I'll send them to you. Oh Damn my man. God. Just after 7 p.m., Paul is mid-shift. It seems like the Carvery lunch isn't going the distance. P.I. Duncan receives intelligence that Paul has been to the Chippy for a quick refuel. The Chippy? The Chip Barn? That's and he naughty. Has bought the Chip Barn. Oh, you're naughty. Chips. Is it just chips on like a bun? Is that what it is? Because that, did, I mean, that's probably friggin' delicious. Just like I've never had poutine, so if you're in Canada and you eat poutine all the time, I bet that's friggin' delicious too. But I've never had it. But I would put, like, fries on my burger or something like that. Like, that's good to me. Sandwich in a bun. And it's a very generous portion. Just Bro, before that's midnight, half my daily calories. From work. Did you really chip bomb, then? I did. Did you? Chip bomb. No, like I say, you don't get many. <laughs> And not even the carvery meal with 16 potatoes, the chocolate bar, or the chip balm have oh satisfied God. the appetite Paul's worked up. Are you guys a cheese fan? Because I'm an extra sharp cheddar kind of guy. If I'm going to eat a block of cheese, it's going to be extra sharp. Or at least sharp, but I like extra sharp. And he doesn't cut any corners with his late night snacking. He's treating himself to a chopping board buffet Whoa, of chocolate bar, are you crisps, serious? and a cheese sandwich. Nine, like 900 Paul, calories? Paul, Paul, Are you aware of just how much you're eating? That was like no, 868, 70, like right? I'm just, that's just made me think that. I just want to oh. introduce you to our secret eaters expert dietitian, Lynn Garton. I have a running tally in my head all day of what I ate. If for breakfast I do 300 or 400 calories, and then say I eat like 38 veggie straws, that's 130 calories. That puts me up, you know, to 430, 530. And I keep that number in my head all day, and I keep it running until I get to the end of the day, and I'll eat something before 7, and that's it. Whatever I landed at, that's it. But it's got to be under 1,200. Like, I could eat something bad, you know, give myself like maybe like a burger that's like 500 calories, but that 500 is coming out of that total, and I'm not getting more than that. Who is here today Hello. to join Hello. us? Now, Lynn, do you think that Paul may have taken that all-you-can-eat buffet a bit too far? <laughs> I think so, Paul, because in those 16 roast potatoes, you ate around 2,000 calories. Bro, 2,000 calories in potatoes? That's like what a full-grown man is supposed to eat in a full day, and he ate it in just friggin' potatoes. 
Good God, homie, you're tripping. Oh, the same number of calories as you'd find in this sticky cake. All of it. That actually All looks kind of good. That is a lot. I don't even know what's in the stuff after oh. time. That's probably my... Yeah, you're not realising the hidden no, cal calories, no, are you? No. So you've had about 4,000... How many calories would you have? <laughs> 4,000 4, in that day? More. Really? Bro, it's so sneaky. You don't realize it unless you keep track of it. So food journals will be your guy's best friend. If you're going that route where you're trying to lose weight, just start keeping track of it and you will be like amazed at just how much you're eating in a day because it's shocking usually. You can up that. In that day, <laughs> oh, no. you got through an enormous 5,500 calories, which is the equivalent of what two men, actually more than what oh. two men should be eating. And I don't, I didn't even see him like pounding soda or anything because that was my problem. I would drink so much Coke and pineapple Fanta and whatever. Like I was drinking a lot of my calories and screwing myself over just monumentally and not even caring about it because I just like soda or like grape juice or anything like cran grape. I love that stuff too. When I found that I was eating for two men. So I was gobsmacked. I was embarrassed really. Gobsmacked. I think I could eat that much. With Paul's colossal calorie count sinking in, it's time to give Emma a taste of reality. Oh yeah, don't think you're getting out of this, sweetheart. They're going to get on your ass too, because I guarantee that you weren't far behind him in the line at that buffet. And the stuff you're eating don't look that great either. Granted, there's probably not 16 roasted potatoes, but you're, you're out there pounding some pasta too. She told us her daily diet just doesn't add up to her 19 and a half stone frame. <laughs> 19 and a half, so that's 7 pounds under 280, so 273. Quick mass, quick mass, Sean's a smart man, Deb. I don't think I eat the amount that my body is showing I do. Shall we have a look at what you ate in just one day of our surveillance? So she's got like 50 pounds on him, but he's, I wonder if he's eating more than her and she's just not quite as active because she's not on the go, but he's just driving, so he's not that active either. I'm really fascinated to see this too. I want to see this. <laughs> Like Paul, Emma's worst day starts at the all-you-can-eat carvery. Crush it down, get more done. Probably. <laughs> oh, when you're preying on her downfall, like you don't want to look as bad as you just were, so you want her to be pounding some friggin' stuff too. Oh, roasted potato cam. What's the guess, guys? I'm gonna go nine for her. Nine. And of course, we have the roast potato cam trained on her too. Oh, this is interesting. Potatoes are good. Four. Oh, just four. four. Oh, you suck. Hopefully she went back for more, because I was guessing nine, and now I'm kind of upset I wasn't at least, like, half as close. So far, so good for Emma. Oh, and she's a, a late-night snacker, nine hours huh? until she makes a large dish of tuna pasta. Ew, tuna pasta. Not a fan of tuna casserole. My mom used to make that all the time when I was a kid, and I hated it. I would eat it, but I didn't like it. Paul at work, she serves herself a plateful, putting the leftovers oh, safely in the fridge. That looks pretty good, though. At 936 That's calories, a plus 144 calorie side of mayo, this mighty meal should be enough to satisfy Emma. Oh, God. What? But That's a late night snack, too. Wow. And she's going for more, and that was a big plate of pasta. That's what used to screw me over a lot, too. Eating stuff late before bed. It's like the worst thing you can do to yourself, and I did it all the time. Rolling over, grabbing like a fistful of Reese's, and just halt, eating them. And, like, in my sleep, I would be chewing Reese's half asleep. Like, that's how screwed in the head I was with my eating. It's an hour and a half later, Emma is gunning for more. Hmm. I don't get more. Surely not. Got Nothing a in the cup of takes a fancy, so Emma hangs fire. Hmm. And decides to face off with the fridge. Bro, she's standing there in a daze, like just looking at what she could eat. Do you guys do that? Do you stand in front of the fridge and just stare and expect something to jump out at you? Because I don't do that. Like, I know in my head what I want to eat. I go and I get it. It's a fridge. Close the fridge. No. no she's got some <laughs> it. It's got to be something sweet, right? She steps away, but isn't empty-handed. 
Her bounty, not one, but two chocolate bars. Oh. Bro, after all that pasta too, you got two freaking chocolate bars? And that's the thing. You guys, like eating chocolate and stuff, I know a lot of people do the whole dessert thing. I Like, I didn't really do the whole dessert thing. If I was going to eat a cheesecake, I'm going to grab the whole damn cheesecake and eat it till I'm sick, pretty much. Like, that's how bad my eating habits were. I might skip dinner and go straight for cheesecake and not eat anything else. Like, my diet was so screwy. Oh, no. All before Paul returns at midnight. Surely that's it for this dining jewel. Do we have no. more? <laughs> Paul clocks Emma's oh, tantalizing man. leftovers in the fridge. There's a lot of pasture in there. I don't get smells, please tell me I don't get smells. It's 1.30 a.m. Oh my god, you're eating at 1.30? I don't, uh, like I said, I would eat stuff in the middle of the night, like not even noticing I was doing it, but yeah, you're just still going ham. You haven't even tried to go to sleep yet. And instead of hitting the hay, Desperado Emma just won't back down. I'm hungry now. <laughs> you do. I do. You, you do. do. Oh my god. Emma. I'm shocked. Oh yeah, let's not 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 put it all on her, Mr. Roasted Potato. You ate 16 damn potatoes at one buffet, and now you're shocked at her. You're gobsmacked, right? Come on, like you knew you guys were eating like this. Why the hell did you even call the show? Like you guys knew you were putting down some stuff late at night. Oh my God, I'm getting more. Is she gonna cook something? Bro. I want it more. There was a Wow. Ba that's my whole day calories. Like, that's what I eat in a day. And she's eating at 130. Well, no friggin' wonder you weigh, what, 19 and a half stone? You're punishing 2,000 calories of pasta at night. And that's not going to be good for your hips. But hey, it might be good for him. I mean, he probably likes them hips. I'm just saying. Only ever going to be one winner in this showdown. I'm not hungry. I know what it, it's boredom. I know it. <laughs> oh, man. When, like, okay. Do you guys eat because you're bored? Because I think it's a pretty easy thing to do. I just think it's funny to hear her say it in the moment. Because, obviously, they signed up for the show. They ate good for five days. It was probably hell. Them trying to be all good. And then this happens. Where the friggin' wall gets pulled out from behind you. Which is just amazing. I love that. This show's friggin' great. Like, I definitely screwed up with that other episode. Why wasn't I in bed? There's no way I could be hungry after what I ate in that day. <laughs> surely. Well, how, I mean, it seems, watching that, you seem genuinely surprised how often you were eating. Mm. How often I just go in the fridge and the look cupboard. what's there. And... I can't believe she's just looking into the abyss there like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so easy, right? If you just sit around and you don't, like, get active or do something, like, you're gonna just keep grabbing stuff to eat or snack on. Or if it's right there and readily available... Like, that's a big no-no, too. I'm kind of having that issue where I want to, like, grab my veggie straws because I keep them next to my bed. But, yeah, it's easy to just keep grabbing things if you're, like, just sitting there all day, you know? Oh, well, that's the end of it. Yeah, okay. So, my take on this show is it's freaking great. I love this show. And I definitely screwed up watching the other one because that one was not nearly as funny or nearly as fascinating as, it, as this one. So I think Sean's going to have to check out more Secret Eaters because I love that, along with more of the Strange Addiction stuff for you guys. Maybe even my uh, trip into some more trashy reality TV, some love after lockup or something for you guys. But all right, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.